In Providence's North Burial Ground, there's a small pond. It's not very impressive, but you'd be amazed at what a lively place it is. This is what it looks like as the summer progresses. Look at the circles in the water. Tadpoles are jumping. Fish are very hard to video, especially in this brown, murky water. There was really only one day this summer that I could get fish pictures, and this is the best of them. These fish build small nests right by the shoreline. Our survey of the animal kingdom next takes us to insects. Dragonflies are found at the pond frequently. These black and ones, white ones fly all over the place. We'll follow these up with some pictures of some cool orange ones. I love how they take off from a spot and then just keep coming back. Bullfrogs are one of the things that drew me to the pond originally. These tadpoles are swimming around in the murky water in the summer. It's pretty hard to video tadpoles, but I keep trying. These are some of the late summer tadpoles, the next crop, not those like those ones in the early spring. These may be the best pictures of tadpoles I ever got. The sun was just perfect with the light into the murky water. In contrast to the tadpoles, the adult bullfrogs are very easy to video. If you can keep them from jumping by standing far enough away, they will just sit there and sit there and sit there, and you can just video to your heart's content. I like this next picture because in this very shallow water, you not only see the head, but you get to see the whole body, and look at those jumping legs. frequently survey this stretch of the shore of the pond. In the spring, there's maybe three or four frogs. But this time of year, July, after the tadpole crop has turned to frogs, look at all of them jumping as I walk along the shore of the pond. This is what it looks like any time other than in July. On to reptiles. You see garter snakes frequently in the burial ground, more often dead than not. But this is the only video I have of a live garter snake. pond without some turtles. This painted turtle is swimming through the pond. Turtles are actually remarkably agile and quick in the water, though normally moving at a slow speed. Um, they just get their reputation for sloth when they're on land, which is really out of their element.
critical for turtles that they get to spend time in the sun and warm up their bodies. That allows them to move more, eat more, grow faster. So turtles are always climbing out of the water onto the log to sun. This log is the only good place in the whole pond for a turtle to sun, and it only gets sun early in the morning. You should see the turtles assemble. Turtles normally sit on this log for a couple of hours in the morning. I've taken a typical 12 minutes, which would be kind of like watching paint dry to watch at normal speed, and condensed it to a minute and a half. Check out those claws. That's how the turtle is able to climb up that very slippery log in the morning. All the turtles we've seen so far have been painted turtles. I believe there are snapping turtles in the pond as well, but this is a red-eared slider. I'd never seen one before this year, but this guy showed up and gave me some of the best pictures I've ever gotten of a turtle. This guy caused all kinds of controversy this summer when I sent out a video. I asked people what it is, some people thought it was a fisher, but it turns out it's a woodchuck. While frogs and turtles dominate my imagination when I think of this pond, birds are found all over the place. This is a very good set of pictures I got of a song sparrow. Normally they won't sit still for you well enough to be able to get pictures, but these were great. Here's a green heron. These guys are some of the reasons that the frog population peaks in July and goes downhill for the next month and a half. While I like to think that there are turtles and frogs that dominate this place, Geese and ducks really dominate. They are ubiquitous, they are present, they are visible. This is some remarkable spring footage of, of two geese. You could say they're performing a ritual. I do like how he bows to her when he's done. And we'll bring you home with some pictures of mallards on the ice.